Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss the object file list and how to build your own C++ library on Linux. Here on the Linux terminal, I have a, one project which built by three CPP files. And this is the main CPP file, which invoke one of my class called my square and my triangle class. Here is the program on the main. So on the main pro program, we use my square class, instantialize my square. And uh, we use the my squares the set side method, method to set the side of square with 2.0. And we instantialize another object called my triangle, class my triangle. And for my triangle, I set up the base high of my triangle. And then we print the square's area and uh, my triangle's area using my gate area method. In some program, they use using such example to test the inheritance. But here, in this video, we're going to focus on the how to build an application using multiple CPP files. So let's check our make file. So as we know, our projects, which is built by my object test CPP file, which is the main function. My square.cpp file is uh, my square class and my triangle class. And uh, so the make file we have to be, we are going to create an object list, which this object has 3.0 file, my square, my triangle, and my object test, which is the main function. So when we compile them, my triangle.o file, the, the requirement is uh, my triangle.cpp files. And uh, so when we compare the my square dot uh, object file, we use my square.cpp file. Similar things when we compile the my binary executable, we use all the object list which is the three object files. So let's uh, try to compile this. So we make, and I make a make. So you can see we can have one object file, second object file, three object file. And then we link all three objects to our executable. So when we run this executable, we got the square area is 4 and the triangle area is 3. So this is the basic work. If you have multiple CPP file to build an executable, you can build using create 100,000 CPP file to build one executable. The, but the problem of this way is, so each time if we made change and main, main functions. We didn't change anything in the my square and my triangle. And during the build, we have to recompile all this my square and my triangle. And uh, so, so we have to be recompile all the CPP files. So in order not to recompile everything, we just recompile the my main functions, main CPP, my, my object test dot CPP. So how about if we build our own library? We build a library using these three CPP, uh, two my square and my triangle, build a one library. And then each time so we compile, we just compile the main CPP file and we just link our own library a standard library. So we, uh, we, so in order to compile the 
object file it should work for, for the library so we have to add one option called the minor f pic which is uh, for my triangle we add that so now let's uh, save this and uh, we make clean so now we don't have everything so first of all we have to recompile the my square so so we try to make my square build our object file also and then we make my triangle object files so rs manner star dot o so now we have two object file my square and my triangle files so to compile the library the library name have to start with lib and what's name it's what's my lib name and the dot so and the so means a shared object and the sometimes one or two, zero or something like that so so to compile the library using these two object file we use g plus plus and the main menu s h a r e because the library is shared we have using the options share so menu w l which is past some option so menu s o m which which is the binding runtime binding name and the code live which is the start with live and i code my live dot s o with dot one menu o dot zero this is original and then we go to star dot object or the object which we have two object so we compile the library which means to call the we call the live my live dot so dot one dot zero so let's try to run so now we build our library right so and then right now and after that, before we continue, we have to check one of environment variable. So because we build a library and this current directory, we have to make sure the, the environment variable called ld underscore right, dot path is contain this directory. So we already set up, so it means now it's okay. So now we have to make iron menu sf create a symbolic link. One, this is allow to the runtime binding for this, and we also make another symbolic rsf. this is uh, the way when we set up the flag for the compiling uh, for the link so now let's have SLTR. so they say we have our library built and uh, we have the two symbolic link created so now make okay so we don't we clean the old object or the now we have to adjust our make files because we already have a we already have a build our my square o and my triangle o into the library called my lab so in the ld flag we have to add one the library called manual my lab so we take off the first library and dot so this is my library and uh, for build the objects executable instead of using the object list we just uh, we have to just use this one object files and we don't compile all this so we just compile this object file and we link with this my library and then we build an executable so now let's see okay so now we make this adjustment let's save make 
clean and then let's make our file my object test so you can see we made a compile that object file we link this object uh, with my library and then we build our executable so let's run our executable so you can see we got our the square area is a four and the triangle area is a three and uh, this is uh, my library which customized library hello this is uh, Hui thanks to watch my video hopeful this is useful and enjoyable it's going to be great to have your feedback thank you